All right, boys, here we are doing the next playthrough. I saw out of the comments we got, we had somebody who wanted us to try to poke with spears and throw spears, and we had a desire to see a lord or a dark crusader playing with heavy weapons. I figured we'd go with, like, the lord character because he has a really high inferno scaling. That'd be kind of cool to throw some buffs on ourselves while we're running around, but I'm not sure how well inferno scales with spears. I haven't played the game in almost a year now, so we'll see how good it is. But we'll start off with this inferno guy. We designed ourselves just to get it out of the way. Just design what we look like and all that. We pick the Lord, give ourselves a strength build. We'll probably focus on the strength, maybe the Inferno a little bit more. And we'll try to get ourselves through. But we're going to test out this advanced game modifiers thing. I haven't seen this yet, so we'll see what it's like. And we will attempt to put spears on as a big weapon. And if not, we'll throw javelins or something similar and see if we can't get ourselves close to what all of our viewers are looking for. We'll see if we can't crank this out and figure it out. Who knows? Game modifiers. Iron Man. Dying a number of reset. World progression is reset. The player progression is inventory is retained. Wow. Okay. So we could play essentially a roguelike where we just keep dying and respawning and dying and respawning stronger and stronger. Pre-upgraded loot. Weapon shields and catalysts found as loot from enemies or the world will come pre-upgraded based on your player level. Yes. We will put that on. That is good. Because that means if we find new weapons, since we really don't have a plan built out, new weapons that we find will be leveled up to our player level. So hopefully if we get to the end game and we find a cool new weapon, it doesn't come to us at plus zero. Randomized loot. Randomized does not affect... Sure, we don't have a plan for where we're getting things, so that'll make it more fun. Randomized enemies. No, that doesn't seem so good because if we face one of the end game enemies in the very beginning of the game, we're doomed. Increased enemy density. Restoring the original enemy density of the game's launch pre-nerf. Nah. We'll leave that. We'll see what the new enemy density is. We might do this on our next playthrough. Withered healing. All healing received is withered healing must be confirmed by dealing damage. That's an extra difficulty modifier. I'll do that on following playthroughs. Good lord, I'm going to have to turn this music down. No vestige has withered away, leaving you all possible places. Okay, so no vestige decay. Minor vestige decay. I guess we're doing no vestige. Yeah, we'll do that. Keep everything as similar to normal as we could think of, and let's see what happens. Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. All right. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. All right, boys, first of all, we're going to edit sensitivity. Good Lord. All right, let's figure out these buttons. You guys have to let me know in the comments, too, if you want to see, like, a hardcore playthrough where I, I just, every step you watch, or if you guys want me to edit a little more, cut out the slow parts, cut out the parts where I'm just walking, shift is run. Wow, this mouse turning is insanely fast. Much better. All right, cool. All right, let's get running. Space is jump. What did I just do? Oh, the umbrella's control. All right. Is that block? Yeah. Power attack, okay. Alright, stay now. Oh yeah, that's how I cast spells, I think. We'll see. It'll teach us. What does 2 do? Now if I hit control? Oh, now I can cast spells. Okay. Let's check out our inventory. How do we go to inventory? No. Tab changes us to two-handed style. Okay. Uh, character? C? No. Escape? Oh, okay. It's just escape. Lord Catalyst. We start off with a spell power D Inferno Catalyst. Start off with a Lord Axe with Inferno and Strength. That's fitting for the character start. 20 pounds. Holy hell. Grand Axe. Okay. So if we don't like this moveset, it's the Grand Axe moveset. Infernal Weapon. Plunge your weapon to the earth and view it with fire and creature Inferno to gain further insight. Oh, 
All right, I have a 22 Inferno to begin with, but all right. An Endurance, Stamina Regen, okay. An Infernal Slash, Lord Mask, the worst helmet of all time. It is the goofiest looking thing. Lord Armor, looks like lots of physical and fire defense. Which is good, because if I remember correctly, the beginning of the game is mostly fire. Lord Gauntlets. That's right, I'm a lord of a deer. Bring it on. Lord Leggings. Physical and fire. Ring of Bones. Increased maximum equipment load. Excellent, because I hate being heavy. I like being light. Ring of Duty. Vitality and Endurance Attributes. Okay, cool. So we need to reduce our weight somehow. Maybe we'll find an amulet that does that, or maybe we can just drop the weight of some of our weapons, go with a lighter weapon. Hopefully spears are lighter than this. God, this torso. Unequip. Let's see. Nope. Well, we might as well equip it then, because we're not getting under it. Okay. We'll just play with it as is, and we'll see once we get a chance. Hold the camera sensitivity. Whew. All right, we picked up Animated Vigor Skull. Until I remember what the heck is going on in this game, I'm not going to level up or do anything fancy. Lock target, ZX switch between targets. Cool, okay. Got it. So we still take some damage if we block, but I'm assuming if I time it properly, I'll get a parry. It's pretty straightforward. Press F to jump. Oh boy. Oh, that was terrible. All right, that needed to happen anyway. We needed this. Oh, that jump is horrible. Oh, Lord, I forgot how bad the jumping in this game is. All right, let's go. Wee-haw! Lock on a target, use that to dash quickly around the enemy. Oh, the slowest weapon of all time! All right, so... That's just a quick back jump. Let's try to lock onto a target and test that out again. Whoa! Inventory. Nope, we already did that. Frost arrows. <laughs> Alright. The randomized loot's definitely already happening. Ranged combat. We'll figure that out. Control to stay in ranged mode. Okay, so that's all it is. Okay, let's lock onto that. Now, how do we, is it two? And then, uh, three. That didn't do diddly. Okay. I forgot we can't just jump up, can we? All right, can we pull you? Nope. Um, do we have... A ranged weapon. No, we don't. Man, this is such a painful first episode. I knew the tutorial would be terrible, but good lord. Well, terrible in terms of I'm dumb. Throwing hand. All right, let's try the throwing hand. Uh, all right, we'll go back to equipment. Instead of this thing, we'll put the throwing hand. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Our buff is this one. Endurance is that one. Is this a... Nope, just cost mana. Explosive blow. Okay, we're getting a little deep in the weeds here. I feel like perhaps the random loot that we got back here, which was frost arrows. Good lord, that sensitivity. There we go. Much easier. Yes. Dang. Huh. I don't think I'll be able to hit it. So, alright. Let's go this way. We're peeking. That's an eyeball. It means we have to go this way. I remember this much. Walk through. That's right. I may be slow, but you're... Wait, press? Something and this to perform a multi-hit attack? 
the heck? Press. That's junk. Alright, what is. Nope, that's not it. Um. We're gonna have to look this up. Alright, upon further review, apparently you can only do it if you have a weapon in both hands. There we go. So it must be single handed only. If you're in double, you can. It's just a jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stances, stances. Now, I remember there's a guy to my left here. The first ambush of the game. Alright, buddy, come on. Alright, buddy. We're slow with this character, so we have to... You can activate by hitting R. Okay, so R is how I use... Yep. Now this means... I know, I know. This means... Pull out my lantern. Then I fall down here. Oh yeah, I have to kill myself. I forgot. There we go. We'll get used to this again. Pick this up. Fire ward. Sure. Yep. Okay. This tutorial is just astoundingly interesting. After the tutorial, this will be getting ramped way up. So I'm probably going to cut the tutorial super... Wait, where is it with... Press to soul flay and then attack to deal wither damage? Okay. I'll do it. Okay, I ripped your soul out. I, wow. Press quick attack to tear out its soul. That's interesting. I don't remember the use of that. But I do remember the use of this. There we go. Soul flaying an enemy causes what? Consumes a charge while soul flaying environmental elements is not good. Okay. What? You dickhead. Alright, let's go in here. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they over explained that a little bit. But we're going to turbo edit ourselves through this tutorial because it's so fast. Yep. Give me that. I want some soul flayness. Yeah! Get decked, homie. Bursting grub. No idea what that does. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, we're pulling all sorts of bleed salts and everything else. Alright. Wait, when we do a heavy attack with our two-handed style, it's right in the middle. When we do it one-handed, it's more sweeping. We might want to do one-handed to hit more people with a sweeping attack, even if it's a little slower. When falling, press this or this to perform a plunge attack. Followed me with your little attack, you wanker. Alright. Alright, we're starting to get the hang of this again. We're still sucking terribly, but... I feel like that's the design of these games. When they're soul flayed, they can be pushed in any direction. Oh, god, I forget this. Push, go left! That didn't work. Yep, that didn't work at all. So, that's false. That didn't work in the slightest. I seem to remember that that's super important, but I think it has to do more with people with souls. Maybe that's the wrong time to give it to us, because that little ghost doesn't have a soul. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Whoa, dread. Oh yeah, people hate me after a while. I forgot about that. Alright, well. That 
was uneventful. All right, eyeball. Now the downside is there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this guy in the early fight. Emerge from Umbral. There's no way. I mean, I got to the point where I could do it when I was playing this game every day, but man, this game's all about muscle memory. I don't even have my settings set up correctly, much less muscle memory. Press block and that to kick. Oh, okay, that's my kick button. Whap. Okay. Well, we're not getting that one loot that drops down, but we're at least getting out of here. This is definitely a safe area. No way a giant endgame boss is going to come out here and just smash me. Restart game plus zero. Wait, you can do that whenever you want? What the hell's Echoes of Battle? I don't remember any of this stuff. All right, I guess we'll rest since we're going forward. A journal and a map of Mornstead. This is going to end well. Block by holding unknown. Yeah, light attack is Grievous Strike. Okay, or a kick. Ah, so that's what the... Okay, so what if your kick doesn't work? Because your buttons don't work. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay. I can't move. I guess I'm just stunned forever? This is kind of... This feels way worse than it did back when I remember it. Come on, hit me. This feels way worse. I mean, that felt way worse. That felt very laggy on the first fight. Like the first triple attack interaction. I'm not sure if I like that. But we'll see. Maybe I'm just rusty. That's most likely what it is. There's no way this ends poorly for us. Oh, we're friends, right? A deer? Or a deer? However you say that. Give me what lamp? I don't have a lamp. I promise! Oh, God!